here. Right? <laughs> just to impress the neighbors. Oh, that yeah, that should impress the neighbors. <laughs> the mothership is coming. So this is one of the uh, the oldest radios here. This is a Marconi. Can I take your And this was used on uh, on the USS Virginia in World War One. And it's as big a crystal radio as you'd want to see. It uses two two different detectors, carborundum or sericite, and everything else is just for tuning it in. So that's pre vacuum tubes. Do you have much familiarity with radio from that yes, era? Yes, yeah. Yeah, well, a little bit, but uh, I'm rusty, but uh, I remember these. Uh... Well, this is the only complete one in the world right now. There's there's another one in the Smithsonian that's missing pieces. Mm -hmm. And there's a collector in France who has one that's missing some mm. things. So did, when you got it, was it complete or did you have no, to No, this one was complete yeah. and, and I have the whole history of it from when the Navy um, deaccessioned it uh, mm. back in the 1950s. Mm. Everybody who owned it, um, where it's been. And the, um, the radio operator in the back actually carved his uh, name into it. He was so proud of the radio. Mm. <laughs> it's etched in the wood back there. But this would work in long wave. Um, you can see that somewhere printed in there is the range of... Uh, did, did, were you able to see the... I'm going to get it. Clip closer, okay. That's wonderful. From, from deep into long wave through what would be the AM band uh, today. Mm -hmm. I can't find it where... Uh, it was right along an edge. On the outside or the inside? On the, on the outside. Yeah. Oh, okay. I haven't seen it myself in a while, but I think that's it over there. Right in, right oh, in yeah. There. I see now. You can see how mechanical they were, too. Mm. A lot of moving parts. So yeah. when you would turn the dial in the front, it would couple mm -hmm. the, uh, the coils. The coils, closer. yeah. Ooh, ooh. Would anyone like some this coffee? This is beautiful. It's all ready, so if you... Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry if I'm sure. interrupting you. I just realized you are. No. But, you know, but just there's coffee and there's iced tea. Lila. 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 Yeah. 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 We have visitors, so... Yeah, it's a whole different... Well, we he wants to welcome us. She was uh, a rescue dog. She was mm -hmm. living in the woods in Kentucky. Oh, okay. And uh, when we got her, she had... Bad manners, and she still has bad manners. Uh, <laughs> but we're trying. You're trying. You'll get there. This is a, um, these are two. Lila, don't you do that. Don't you do that. <laughs> Pam, can you, can you call her? Professor Molnar, would you be so kind as to show me the signature? Oh, yeah. It's down around on the inside over there. Oh, yeah. Cool. And this is how you would couple the coils on the, on the track. When McConney did this, what did he mean by telephones? Headphones. The headphones. Yeah. Okay. The headphones. Why well, Before this set, mm -hmm. everything would have been an individual components. Mm -hmm. One of the things that collectors try to find are the different pieces that were on the Titanic. Yeah. So that vintage pre-1912. So that's the, the type tuner that was on the Titanic. I'm going to turn this off and turn it back on again.